27, 28, 29. Hey, what's up guys? So my last video, I changed my free wheel on my electric e-bike. And this video, I'm gonna just do a quick comparison between the new one and the old one. But first, I do wanna correct myself. I was wrong on one thing in my last video and it's driving me nuts. After I uploaded it, I didn't wanna delete it and redo it because it took a long time to make. But I did say that the old one was a 13 to 28, but the old one was actually a 14 to 28. I'll show you here on my last video I explained here about the differences between the old and the new gearing and I was wrong on the old gearing being a 13 and I said that your your new gearing would be your sixth gear well that was wrong I'm sorry guys it's at, the old one was actually a 14 and I knew that I don't know what I was thinking that day when I recorded that so uh, that is no longer your uh, sixth gear you completely lose the 14 tooth gear but you do have the new 13 so the 13 is going to be new so previously i said you would have three new ones and you'd keep four of the old ones but that was uh actually opposite you're going to have four new ones and keep three of the old gears so i'm sorry about that guys and i just wanted to correct myself um so let's go ahead and get into this ride test so if you guys haven't seen any of my past videos i'll put a link in the description to my playlist on my e-bike here on my electric xp e-bike which is currently as of right now probably one of the best valued e-bikes that you can get for what it gives you versus what's out there also guys please check out the comments and the description below a lot of times i'll post updates down there so make sure you guys check that out and if you guys have a comment as well please put it below i'm sure others would like to see what you have to say if you haven't done so yet please subscribe please hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos and make sure you check out some other ones all right guys let's go ahead and get into it thanks for watching all right so i'm going to go down this hill and try to pedal it roughly around 28 miles an hour or so. I'm gonna to try to hold the camera so that you guys can still see the speedometer, but also see my legs pedaling uh, to see how fast they're rotating. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. And cruising up back up this steep part pretty pretty easily here. Sorry guys, there was a car coming. Trying to get the best angle for you guys. 20, 22, 23, 25. <laughs> there was a bump back here. Another hill. See if I can get the angle for you guys. And I'm still in seventh gear going up this hill. It is drawing 20 amps of current though. All right, here's a pretty good stretch here. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 22 All right, it's a little bit windy guys. It looks like it's gonna storm Looks like a storm's coming uh, I want to show you guys here real quick. I'm gonna drop it down to PAS 1 and pedal in seventh gear just to show you guys, uh, this isn't only for people that want to go over 20 miles per hour. In my opinion, if you're on it, oh, my selfie stick just fell a little bit. That's all right. If you want to travel in uh, on level ground in PAS 1, seventh gear with the new freewheel, this is what it would be like here. This is around nine miles per hour. So that's not bad at all. So if you're on level ground and don't want to pedal like Pretty much this speed here with the old gearing somewhere around there nine miles per hour this will be the new gearing all right let's turn around and go back the other way
18, 19, 20, 23, 25, 26, almost 26. Twenty-five. So I was only I'm only able to hit around twenty-five right now. Uh, it is pretty windy, and let's see what my let's see what my battery current's on. I, I'm probably getting down a little bit on battery. I'm at 40, 47.9, so I'm about almost at half battery. I would say that's probably why it's a little bit tough to hit twenty-eight right now. PAS1, 7th gear. Show you guys, just gonna cruise slowly. So, 7 miles per hour in 7th gear, PAS1. Just pedaling slowly so yeah guys I mean this isn't really just for people that want to go fast I mean it works also here because you could take it down in the fourth and it'd be almost like your old gearing when you were in seventh before or, or I'm sorry fifth take it down in the fifth this would be somewhere around your old gearing maybe And then here's your new sixth gear and PAS one and your new seventh gear. So here's the new free wheel in action. Right now I'm in the new sixth gear and I believe I'm in PAS one. Here I shift to the new seventh gear, which is the 11 tooth gear. Then I shift all the way up into first gear, which stayed the same and back down all the way to the new seventh gear. So you could see the rotations on the cranks here in this clip. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some comparison videos side by side now. I'll see if I can find some good previous footage and put it with some current footage and hopefully try to show you guys side by side. Thanks for watching. See you in a second. Five. 27, 28, 29, 28. But I'm pedaling pretty fast. 26, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27.1, 26, 25, 24. All right. Whew. All right, guys. Out of breath. All right, so. I was able to get to like 27. That is a slight uphill there. Uh, but you can see there how much less I'm pedaling versus the old versus the old freewheel. Alright, let's try to get a few more tests here. Hopefully you guys can hear the audio good. Got my wireless lav mic here. So hopefully that wasn't cutting out too far down there. <sighs> out of breath. All right, guys, I'm in seventh gear. I'm gonna try it this way. It's a little bit downhill here. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. This is 28 right here, guys. I'm gonna show you guys a few differences in settings here. I'm gonna try to put it in PAS1. This is PAS1, eight miles per hour in first gear. Second gear. Third gear. Fourth gear. And I'm, I'm, I'm maintaining about eight miles per hour. Fifth gear. Sixth gear. And finally, here's seventh gear, eight miles per hour. All right, I hope it was a little bit easier for you guys. It was definitely easier for me going downhill there, but I was able to hit 28 that time and maintain it for a little while. All right, guys, now I'm in PAS1 and first gear, and I'm gonna show you guys that you don't lose your, oh, it's swampy over here. You don't lose your hill climbing capabilities. This is first gear, which is the same as the old first gear. 
We'll walk right up that hill, no problem, sitting down in PAS1. So let's see, I'll show you guys that here again. Let's go down this hill and uh, we'll go up this part, part over here one more time, PAS1. Let me see how many amps I'm drawing. And drawing uh, 14 amps, 16 amps. Walked up at no problem first gear. So you don't lose that, that uh, low gear capability for climbing hills. You still have that with this free wheel. So that's a plus. Like I said, your first and second gear will stay exactly the same. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this interesting or helpful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and that bell next to it so you get notified of my next future videos. If you have any suggestions for any future videos, please put them in the comments below. And for all of you guys that are waiting on your bikes for your delivery, I know you, a couple of you have been waiting a while. It's definitely worth the wait. So keep watching my videos until then, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.